Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasi here and in this video I am going to show you how you can install a fresh copy of Mac OS on your Mac using a bootable USB pen drive. So let's begin the video. So you may want to install a fresh copy of Mac OS if you have upgraded the storage on your Mac or Macbook if you have an older version of Mac where you could actually change the storage. In my case, I have the MacBook 2015 model and also you may want to install Mac OS if for some reason you have erased the entire Mac storage or the operating system has become corrupted. So in that case, you can install a fresh copy of Mac OS. There are basically two ways to do so. The first way is to actually install the Mac OS on the Mac that does not have it anymore using internet. However, that approach involves having a good and steady internet connection because the Mac OS size is 12 to 13 GB and the Mac will first download it and then install it. And if the internet gets corrupted, then it will restart the process. So having a strong and uh, stable internet connection is necessary. However, since I do not have a very strong internet connection, I will go with the method 2 which I am showing in this video which is making a bootable USB drive and then installing Mac OS. Now for this method, you should know that you need to have a second Mac, MacBook or Mac Pro like I have right here, which already has a working Mac operating system because we are going to first download Mac OS on our second Mac. Then we are going to make our USB drive bootable on the second Mac. And then with that USB, we're going to install it on the first Mac, which either does not have a Mac OS or you have upgraded the storage. This is a little tricky, but I will tell you all the process in a step-by-step -step manner so that you can understand it easily. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable bell notification at, as it motivates me a lot to make more useful content like this. Anyways, let's begin the video. The things required are a USB pen drive, which has at least 16 GB of free storage. So this is our 32 GB pen drive, but 16 GB pen drive will also work. Secondly, you're going to need a second working Mac with an active internet connection. Let me open my Mac and show you how you can download Mac OS and then make a bootable USB drive. Here I am on my second Mac and first of all, we're going to download Mac OS for our first Mac. So you need to identify that which version of Mac OS will be compatible. For that, what I do is to open any browser and just on the search bar type Mac OS version supported by and then enter my MacBooks model and year. So it's my, in my case, it's MacBook 2015 Pro model and Google is suggesting Mac OS monitoring is compatible. And if you want to double verify it, you can actually just uh, select Mac OS monitoring or any Mac that is Mac OS that is showing in your case and type uh, supported devices and from here it's going to show you Apple's official website you can open the website for your Mac OS and see if your MacBook is listed in the uh, products names or not so in my case I'm looking for MacBook Pro 2015 so you can see uh, mid and early both are present so it means that my MacBook is compatible with Mac OS monetary so I'm going to download Mac OS monetary in another type just type mac os monitoring download and the first website will be from apps.apple.com just open the website because these operating systems are officially from apple and not any third party os which may have some corrupted files or viruses so it's going to by default open the app store on your mac and it's going to show you your mac os in my case it's monitor in your case it may be mojave catalina etc just click on get it's going to open the software update section and it's saying are you sure you want to download mac os monterey 12.7.6 i'm going to click on download and here the download will begin so you can see the total size is 12.41 gb and the download will take some time depending on your internet speed so make sure internet is not disconnected or your mac does not go to sleep so we're going to wait until the download is completed once Mac OS has been downloaded on your Mac, you're going to plug in your USB pen drive to your Mac so that we can make it bootable. And also when you have downloaded Mac OS, if you have seen this kind of error that install Mac OS, your Mac OS name cannot be opened from a newer version of Mac OS. 
for more information visit if you have seen this kind of error then you do not have to worry about it because mac os will still be downloaded on your mac in order to view the downloaded mac os just open launchpad and here you would see your mac os in my case it's present right here if you cannot see it here what you can do go to desktop press on command space to open spotlight just type applications and open the applications folder because mac os is downloaded here and here you can see in my case it's showing mac os if i click on space it's going to show its properties the version and the total space it's consuming which is 12.45 gb in my case after that we're going to close it and here i have my external usb drive if i open it it's going to have some data so before making it bootable make sure to back up your data of your external pen drive because when we are going to make it bootable all the data within the drive will be lost so make sure to uh, for back up your pen drive first in my case i have already backed it up after that on the desktop just press on command space type disk utility here it's going to show your max hard drive and in external it's going to show you your external pen drive so if you have multiple drives connected make sure to select the correct one on which you want to make the bootable pen drive in my case it's hp pen drive we're going to click on erase type the name my volume make sure the name is exactly like this with the capitals and smalls in format just select xfat and click on erase and it's going to erase it here it says erase process is complete click done to continue we're going to click on done close it and you can see now its name is my volume now what we're going to do is to click on command space again just type terminal and open terminal now in terminal we're going to type a command so that our mac os is copied to our external pen drive and is made bootable for that you're going to open the browser this website link will be in the video description and it's going to have commands for different mac os like if you are installing mac os monterey like me then we're going to use this command if you're installing mac os big Sur, mojave ventura or some other thing then you're going to copy the a required command since i have mac os monterey which i want to make bootable i'm going to copy this whole command go to my terminal and i'm going to paste it so let me just maximize it so that you can understand what this line actually means sudo is a keyword application means that we have mac os in our application folder which we have already checked it's going to install it the mac os name is mac os monterey app which is correct and then it has it and lastly it's going to show us our external usb pen drive name on which we are going to mount it so again our pen drive name is my volume that's why it's showing my volume here if your pen drive name is different then you're going to type that different name here but i would recommend to stick with my volume and use the same name after that just press on enter enter the lock screen passcode of your mac click on enter and if the password is correct it's going to start so to continue you need to erase the volume at volumes my volume again we have already raised it so we don't have to worry about it we're going to click on y and it's going to start the process the external usb will disappear and come again once the erasing process is completed so from here do not turn off or uh, put your mac to the sleep mode or unplug your usb pen drive we're just going to wait until the process is completed terminal would like to access files on a removal volume we're going to click on ok and now it's going to make our disk bootable so after about 20 to 30 minutes you can see the process has been completed install media now available at volume install mac os monterey so we're just going to type exit in terminal and we're going to close it here if you can see the name of the external drive has been changed to install macOS Monterey. If I open it, it's going to contain the installation file which is now bootable. So if I look at the space, 17.3 GB is available anyways. Now what I'm going to do is to just eject it. And now we're going to plug in this USB pen drive to our first Mac where we actually want to install macOS before that just press command space on your keyboard type disk utility again open disk utility and here in disk images it's going to show you shared support make sure to eject it 
and now we are all done with our second Mac and move towards our first Mac where we are going to install the new Mac OS. So we are going to plug in our USB with Mac OS onto our Mac. In order to boot from Intel based Macs, you need to press the power button and option button simultaneously and it will open the boot menu. If you have a Mac with Apple's M series chip, then all you need to do is to long press the power button and it will open the boot menu. Here in my case, it is showing Mac OS Monterey, which is on our bootable USB drive. If it is not showing to you, then try changing the port of your USB drive and restart the laptop. So we are going to click on the up button and you are going to have this code running. So you do not have to do anything as of now. Now we are going to see this Apple logo with the loading bar and here we are going to select our language. Here we have four options, restore from time machine, install Mac OS Monterey, browse from Safari and disk utility. So if it is a fresh copy then I recommend going to disk utility first, continue. And here it's going to show our Mac's internal hard drive or SSD and also our external USB drive which is installed Mac OS Monterey. So in internal click on untitled or whatever name it is showing. Click on erase because I'm assuming that you do not have any data in your Mac. If you have it then don't click on the erase button. Uh, we're going to rename it to anything. Let me just type Macintosh and the format is Mac OS extended. Click on erase. Again, make sure to have a backup of your data first before erasing it. Erase is complete. I'm going to click on done. Now we're just simply going to close it. Click on install Mac OS Monterey. Continue. Click on continue. And you need to agree to the terms and conditions. Agree. And select your Mac's so a hard drive. In my case, it's Macintosh. Click on continue. And now it's going to install Mac OS Monterey on your Mac. So now your Mac may restart several times. So you do not have to do anything. We are just simply going to wait. We got the Apple logo with the loading bar. So the screen is stuck on this Apple logo with the loading bar for around 20 to 30 minutes, which is not normal. So if you happen to have this case, what I recommend is to long press on the power button uh, to shut down your Mac and just simply restart it using the power button without clicking any other key. And it's going to restart the process but this time it's not going to go into the disk utility or anything like this so we're just simply going to wait again. And again we have the Apple logo with the loading bar and now you can see Mac OS Monterey has been installed successfully. And now we can do the basic setup like language, location, time and etc. And from here you need to have Wi-Fi so that it can register your uh, Mac and software with their server. And if I go and show you, you can see that we have Mac OS Monterey on our 2015 MacBook Pro. So that's how you can do it. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you have any other questions, write them in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Other than that, thank you for watching and as always, stay safe.